the low oil prices impacted uh, the country because yeah. uh, the, the main income of the country comes from the oil. And Adnoc has been adapting itself to uh, to be able to continue the plans which the government wants to put into place mm -hmm. within the present oil price scenario. It's very funny because Adnoc is becoming an IOC. You yes. know, I think uh, Dr. Sultan Jaber said he wants to make Adnoc into the most successful IOC, <laughs> and it's. It's, uh, it's interesting because it is a fundamental change in the way they are doing business. Do it's not a question of, I mean, in any company you need two things. You need a management decision yeah. and you need the management and the people to follow what the management decision is, not to resist it. And I think this is happening in that book. I can see the difference over the last year in the different meetings we have and the decisions taken for different investments. That there is a change. There is a look at trying to find, uh, look at from the economic point of view, what is the, what is the, uh, I'm thinking in French, you know, rentability, what is the profitability of certain projects? Uh, how we are going to develop to be able to reach our objectives, but at the same time, not uh, spend too much money uh, how are we going to you've heard for example there are companies which are merging together to yeah. try to gain on synergies to try on, to cut on the operating costs so there have been a, there has been a very I would say I don't know if you can call it a revolution but it's a fundamental change, change yeah. in the way business is done and uh, in many ways uh, this makes dealing with the national yes. oil companies easier yeah. because uh, we are talking languages which are not exactly the same because don't yeah. forget uh, a national oil company has certain national, interest national interests and they have to follow uh, the strategy laid down by the government. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, we, we follow a commercial strategy but they follow strategies made by the government. Yeah. And so, but at least I think it will lead, uh, we, we are in a transition period, we haven't reached the end yet mm -hmm. and uh, but eventually it will lead to a, a leaner and, 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 and more efficient uh, communication between the IOCs and the national oil companies nice. the, the agreement is made on such a, in such a way that for a new entrant to come all the others have to sign so I had to sign my agreement before yeah. Did you? Uh, of course and uh, I think it's in our interest and it's in the interest of Adnoc. I will explain, uh, I tell you, I look from their point of view, from my point of view. From my point of view, it is uh, very good to have a partner which is an IOC, who sees things in the same way as we see things, mm -hmm. and who will be able to uh, help me push forward certain points more forcefully. If you have only total saying More something, yeah. this is just Hatem who's being as difficult as always. But when you have BP and total saying something, it has, so this will help me from my point of view. Okay. Also, if you look at it from the point of view of uh, Abu Dhabi, put all your eggs in the French basket for 40 years. Mm -hmm. You know, you'd like to have somebody else apart yeah. from the Asiatic people, but European or American. Definitely. So, so this is this is a deal which which is good for both sides. It is true that Adnoc would like to expand its cooperation with the IOCs. It is true that Adnoc is looking at different ways of increasing the value. For example, they say instead of selling the, the crude oil, I will sell the products where maybe I can make more profit than I make simply on the crude oil. Mm -hmm. And it's true that they have spoken to many IOCs, us among them, about possible partnerships. We have in the downstream what we have. We have in Dubai, we have our lubricants, uh, you know, the TMME. Yeah. We have, uh, we are partners in one thing which is fertile, which yeah. makes the urea. And uh, there is nothing, I don't know whether we will have other partnerships or not. Uh,
I don't think that there is a limitation. It's a limitation of price and costs and economics. And look at the shell uh, in the United States. When the price was uh, at 100, everybody was saying that at $80 per barrel, these operations will stop. They will not be economic. And today, at $50, many operations are ongoing. Still going Why? Ahead. Because they cut the costs, because they put in place the technology. So, uh, you know, you should be optimistic about technology. It can solve many problems. I know it's very fashionable to be, even, even uh, you know, we say we are uh, committed. We are committed to better energy. We are studying many subjects, okay? I, I'll give you an example. In Abu Bukur, mm -hmm. we made a chemical injection pilot, which was successful. Usually, the chemical injection is, is, is not on carbonate reservoirs. It is, not, it is done on sandstone reservoirs. The fact that it was successful in ABK, it means that we can imagine using in this technology in the big fields which are in Abu Dhabi. So that is something new. Uh, not only the, in terms of damage, the Adgasco has just decided to use a, a total high suite, something called the high suite, which is a total sort of methodology for, for them, which is a first uh, outside, you know, uh, to be used by outside. So we are using many technologies which are being put in place by uh, the national uh, by the of course by the national company. I see.